Hello and welcome to Maths with Lloydie. This is our third video where we're going through the 2019 core maths paper. This is paper one, as indicated here, um, and it's on the AQA syllabus. Thank you so much to the people that have subscribed. That is amazing. We are up to 104 subscribers, and I've probably spelled that wrong, but that's brilliant. Please do keep recommending uh, this channel. I'm going to continue to keep uploading stuff, uh, aiming for a thousand. I'm aiming to be able to put adverts on here because I really want to start paying my mortgage off. <laughs> but uh, please do subscribe. I'm going to get some more content out over the next few weeks, uh, trying to hit this paper, get to paper two, uh, B, and also some GCSE stuff. So our first question that we're looking at, uh, we've got question six and seven to do today. Don't think I'm going to fit in question eight. That might have to be its own video along with question nine, because question nine is one of the big questions. So Mia has just bought a house for 230 thousand pounds mia's house is expected to increase in price by 2.5 percent per year correct to two significant figures this is a nightmare it's something that i didn't think came up i know that my class really struggled with this one in the past but the correct two significant figures is saying we have a bounds question so we need the lower bound because it said work out the minimum expected increase in the price of her house in two years time so our first calculation has to be what will that percentage actually be if it's the two significant figures we're looking at 2.45 percent being the smallest percentage that it could be and that is therefore the lower bound we're then going to do the calculation so we've got two hundred and thirty thousand pounds which is the house value multiplied by one 0.0245 squared. Now, if you don't know where I've got that from, it's an increase. So we've got to ooh, increase. So we've got to add it to 100. And then we've got to divide by 100 in order to turn it into a decimal multiplier. The two or the squared bit has come from it being two years time. So that's our number of terms. We are multiplying it by 1.0245 for the first year and repeating the process for the second year. Okay, so that comes out at two four one four zero eight i like to put a dash in between i get told off for doing it sometimes uh point zero five seven five right the next step is to subtract the two three zero 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 so that we just get that interest amount rather than or well, the increase sorry it's not an interest so we can find out what the actual increase is and that gives us eleven thousand four hundred and eight pounds and it rounds to six pence, and we are going to round it properly. The mark scheme will probably just chop off that bit anyway, so you can give your answer to the nearest whole number. Excuse me as I cough. <coughs> okay, great. So that's question six done nicely. Now, question seven is the one that I need to spend a bit of time on, because we have got ten marks for this one. Now, I'm going to do it my way. There are a few other ways of doing it. This is the way I like to do it. So using the income tax uh the prelim material stuff we've got that down here if i scroll down so i've kept it all don't actually need the student loans because if we read the question it says no other deductions other than tax and national insurance so mike is an engineer and his salary if i just click on here i can do some highlighting his salary and that's pre-tax is that he pays income tax and national insurance his net pay is that per month mike wants to buy a new house but can't afford the mortgage payments. Tell me about it. We're remortgaging at the moment, looking at what we can and can't afford. If my net pay increased by £270 per month, net pay, I could afford the mortgage payments. Mike is promoted to supervisor. Woohoo! And his salary increases by £5,250 per year. Can he now afford his mortgage payments? You must show you're working. You cannot put yes or no and expect to have a gamble and get one mark. You have to show some working here. Now, there's so many options. We can work out everything monthly. We can work out everything yearly. We can work out national insurance and tax on just the increased value if we want to. I like to keep it nice and simple. So I'm going to, first of all, have a look at his net pay. So his net pay, 2690.07. And we're going to add the 270 per month. That gives us £2,960.07. So that's his target net pay. If it's more than this, he can afford the house. If it's not more than that, 
he can't afford the house. So I'm just going to make a note that I've gone monthly for this calculation. Now his salary is 4,000, sorry, 42,500. And we're going to add the 5,000, keep the units the same, 5,250 pounds per year. So that adds together at 47,750. So that's a really key number. I'm going to now work out the tax. I'm going to work out the national insurance. I'm going to subtract them both and divide it by 12 so I can compare it to that net pay. So first up, this is the annual amount of tax-free income, the personal allowance, 11,850. So I'm going to have to do 47,750, take away 11,850. 47,750, take away 11,850. That gives me 35,900 as his taxable amount. Up to 34,500 is at 20%. So 34,500 is going to be multiplied by 0 0.2 and the rest of it. So we've got a little bit of an amount above that, haven't we? We've got 1,400 above that and that's going to be multiplied by 0 0.4. So this is working out his tax calculation. Multiplied by 0 0.2, so that gives us 6,900. And then in the next bit, 1,400 times by 0 0.4 is 560 pounds so add them together overall his tax deductions will be 7460 now i'm going to write it there tax deduction and over here i'm going to write his amount 47750 7460 now what some people will do is they'll deduct that and then they'll restart the national insurance calculation no, we don't do that. We don't do take away the tax. We just start again from the original value. So we've got 47,750. That's his new salary. 0%. I'm doing it yearly. So I need to subtract 8,424 from that value. 8,424. That gives me... 39,326. Okay, that is all going to, or is it, it's not all going to, it's not all going to fall into there because the difference between 46350 take away 8424, I'm not going to include that penny, is 37,926. So 37,926 is at the 12% rate, and you have to be really careful with these. You don't want to make a mistake on them. They can be a little bit confusing. The next bit is going to be 0 0.02. Expect to see a rise in these figures over the next couple of weeks. Follow the news because they're wanting to charge us a bit more. I need to work out the difference. 39,326 take away 37,926, which gives me 1,400 that's coming into here. I recognize that number from somewhere. Yeah, interesting. You go above a tax bracket, you also jump into a new national insurance bracket. Coincidence? Probably. 37,926 multiplied by 0.12 gives us £4,551.12p. £12 and then the next bit, 1,400 times by 0 0.02 is £28. It all adds up which I need to add it up here. So 28 pounds plus 4551.12 gives me 4579 pounds and 12 pence. Okay, I need that number to come up to here because that's going to be my national insurance deduction. 457912. Okay, subtracting both of these, I'm going to get the figure for the net salary, what he's going to take home after Senor Taxman and Madam National Insurance. Mind you, I'm pretty sure they're gender neutral organisations, just being a bit cartoony, I suppose. 35,710 and 88. So that's the new, whoops, new net salary. Please, please, please put all your workings in a neat order so your examiner doesn't want to tear all of their hair out 
Right, we're going to divide it by 12 for the monthly net salary. Monthly net salary. So divide by 12. And we have £2,975.91. pence. I've rounded it. Which is greater than two thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds and seven pence always important to get your customer's name right mike mike yes you can you go buy that house you might even want to get a bigger one so mike yes you can afford it okay that's me for today that's question six and seven all completed um i hope i hope you liked what you saw today i hope you're enjoying these videos please subscribe please pass on uh, the channel link, please spread the word and let's get to a thousand subscribers. Have a lovely, lovely week and I'll see you next time.